Hello. This is the Elite Gamer here again. Got another review for you. My 14th game review. Oh. Yep, you've guessed it. Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo. And it seems they've actually done their homework. Not before time. Cuts to chase. You have exhilarating cutscenes from the film. Well, side scrolling ones, or whatever you like to call them. And you can actually fight with your hands. And a batarang, that's more Batman. You actually get more of a decent storyline in this game as opposed to my last one or in this case my doesn't matter my last Batman review which was Batman Return of the Joker for the NES this one actually gives you more of a decent storyline uh, Danny DeVito well the Penguin has basically taken Gotham City he had now transfers through approximately seven levels built up from every conceivable pa idle pattern and idle haven of scum and villainy of Gotham City in an attempt to bring peace to the city and govern justice once again for the benefit of all as only Batman can. You can throw a batarang like this and stun the enemy and hit them grab them and throw them to the floor. My personal favourite, walk up to them. Stupid control. As I was saying, walk... Stupid thing, why are you doing that? I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Anyway, another thing you can do is like, this guy walk up to him. No, I didn't say that. Yes, what was one of them even banging their heads together? Why can't I throw them against the wall? I did it before. Stupid button. Swear I'm pressing the right button. You can also throw them against the walls as well. But don't ask me why, I don't know why this ain't letting me do that. It should. It's annoying when you know what button does what and it won't do it. I'm actually pressing the right button. Oh, finally, he does it! Hooray! Thank you, that's what I wanted you to do. Oh, must try pal. But, but, uh, right, that's it. It's last time you take my lunch money. As I said, obviously, this game has a lot going for it. Um, and it, you, you've got a lot of moves. You've even got. A, Special grenade, not a grenade, it's like a flashbang attack, which you can use if you've been overwhelmed by enemies or tough boss fights. Even then, you only have a limited supply of those you can use. And when they run out, it's just you against everything the enemy throws at you. Gotham's not so fine. But the only thing I like about this game, in addition to all the fighting, is that when you actually grab a character, they're, they're at your entire mercy. There's nothing they can do but just take your onslaught of blows. And the only way you'll, you'll let them go is either A, if you make a mistake, or B, if you are hit by an enemy, which basically then automatically makes you let go of the enemy. But still, that's normal. You know, it's, it's exactly what would have happened in a real fight. Oh, fat clown time. That, that, pork pie, that last pork pie you had before supper last night won't save you. Look out. Look out, it comes up to Dumpty. 
Who are you supposed to be? The ghost rider? Obviously Batman has quite a lasting franchise. And has probably been one of the greatest super it's probably, probably one of the greatest heroes in all of DC. Going from suit from hero to plain superhero by basically beating back every element just because a couple of guys took his parents thinking that he owed Gotham the world when it, you know in a way he doesn't, but like every like one hero to another, it'd just be the same old story. Not because I have to, but because I choose to. So I'll just do this little boss fight. This is actually a bit from the film, and all this actually happened. But um, not like this. Batman would have just floored him. You've obviously you're going to utilise a lot of continues on the boss fights because it doesn't matter how good you are. I mean, look, well, look, I'm throwing everything I have at this guy. Okay, alright. This guy's usually tougher. Hmm. Never mind. Anyhow, so, for my final verdict on Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. For all the different things now they've made it better, you can actually fight with your hands, you can throw batarangs to stun your enemy, you can throw them through at windows or throw them through a ballard. And you have all these lustrous stop motion cutscenes. Well not stop motion, more like a well you know what I mean. So this is the Elite Gamer saying Thank you for your time, Bat Pans, until next time. Game on.